Hi there, what you're looking at here is the Zero Plus LAPC 32200 software and I have the Zero Plus Logic Cube sitting in front of me attached to a simple Arduino which can put out some I squared C at the press of a button. So this is the uh, software package as uh, you know as it is when you start it up. So I'm going to be using two signals here, uh, I squared C signals. So the, the wonderful display here of 32 signals, which clearly I don't need. So I'm going to right click the screen and I'm going to delete all of the channels. There you go, we're starting from scratch. I'm going to add channel A0 and I'm going to add channel A1. So now we have two channels. So a thing that you've got to realize about using this uh, software, which is a little bit different to other software I've seen, you have to group uh, stuff into buses. So what I'm going to do, as you would in Word, I'm going to hit A1, Shift A2, and group the two of them into a bus, which is simple enough. I'm going to um, set a reasonable rate for i squared c i guess let's go 10 meg and a uh, 16 uh, 32 k sample why not and what i have to do is on the we're going to select the decoder and in this case out of the um i don't know 120 i think protocols that this supports where's i Exactly where it's expected, I squared C. So now we have SCL and SDA. So what we're looking at is uh, SCL coming high. And that would be the start of the data package. So I'm going to set off uh, a single capture and go press a button on the Arduino. And sure enough, there we've captured this. Um, I'm going to use the control key and the center mouse button to zoom in and out. If you look at the bottom of the screen there, I'm selecting the area where there's data. And sure enough, straight away, we have our start address 20 because I'm looking at a little uh, I squared C to parallel uh, chip. Uh, there's a right there and then we're going to send data 5 and there's a stop. So that's quite good. Uh, just to make sure that I'm not dreaming, I've got two or three buttons on this Arduino that give slightly different values. So I'm just going to try this again. I'm going to take my reading and I'm going to press a different button. And this time, instead of data 5, I get data 6, which is absolutely right. Uh, the simple I squared C to TTL chip takes in an address and a data byte and, and you know controls the outputs. So that's all very simple to use. I think I like this, and of course it's a very, very sophisticated piece of software. I'm just doing a simple test here. There is one thing I would have preferred. So you see the data line here. Sorry, uh, yeah, the data line. It's in default, and this is the second analyzer I've seen that does this, in a kind of a dark brown that you can hardly see. Well, fortunately, you can just format the row, color, and pick any color you like. So let's have a pretty light blue. And there it is. That's, that's absolutely much better. But what would be really nice would be to stretch this out vertically. And unfortunately, as you can see, when I move the mouse around, you can't do that. You would think like a spreadsheet. Um, you're only using two channels. We could stretch these out. To take up the full screen but i haven't been able to find any way to do that which is a bit of a shame uh, but a minor thing i suppose let's see how far we can go down here 100 kilohertz i'd expect to fail so let's take a reading and sure enough no matter what you do with this you just don't have any information yeah it's just rubbish Let's try 200 kilohertz. And actually, 200 kilohertz works. It's probably right on the limit, but it does work. 
By the time we get to 400 kilohertz, no problem at all. So there it is.